I think that what you're seeing is um, essentially a pushback against the establishment in a really important way. You know, coming out of 2008, what happened was Wall Street took an enormous amount of risk and they left retail as the bag holder. And a lot of these kids were in grade school and high school when that happened. They lost their homes, their parents lost their jobs. And they've always wondered, like, why did those folks get bailed out for taking enormous amounts of risks and nobody helped and showed up to help my family? Instead of having idea dinners or, you know, quiet, whispered conversations amongst hedge funds in the Hamptons, these kids had the courage to do it transparently in a forum. And I'm not saying all of it is perfect by any means, but I think it takes um, an enormous amount of faith in the system to be that transparent, to talk about things, and then for each individual to make their own mind up and to do things. What's better than a bank investing your assets for our profits in the safety and security of the stock market? And as realities are being fractured, markets being manipulated, speech being limited, we of course now have officially gotten a response from the SEC that has said that it is, quote, promising to scrutinize these actions taken by brokerage firms. This, of course, is leaving many people just absolutely dumbfounded, being like, wait, the damage is done here, and, and all you're going to do is, is scrutinize them? Reminding you again what we've been saying on this independent media broadcast for 15 years. Don't expect government to help you. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Rogodowski of WeAreChange.org. A lot of upside-down reality absurdity in this world happening right now as NBC News is now recommending four masks. There's also new concerns about the Chinese government stealing your DNA. So, of course, we're going to talk about that plus a lot more, as well as Black Lives Matter just be... <laughs> Just, <laughs> just being nominated. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is not satire. This is not the Onion or the Babylon Bee. Black Lives Matter was just nominated for a, a Nobel Peace Prize. So yeah, yeah. There's a lot of a manipulation of our reality happening right now. But of course, predominantly, we're going to be focusing on the larger stonks issue unfolding right now. Where of course, this Twitter user puts it very correctly. A bunch of Reddit users woke up this morning and decided to make their own stimulus check. They decided to play the stock market. They played their game and essentially outsmarted them at it. And at the same time, made a little bit of money which of course sent everyone in an uproar rigging the game against them to make sure the billionaires get to keep some of their money so they could afford their third or fourth yacht some individuals like bill gross have decided to describe what's happening right now as a populist political uprising and with the way that the establishment has been trying to stomp it out it's definitely shaping up to be one especially with the latest announcement as we're finding out from The Verge that Google is rigging the game along with the big financial markets, especially with the latest news that we're getting from The Verge that wrote an article highlighting how Google, one of the largest, most powerful companies in the history of the world, is deleting nearly 100,000 negative reviews and one-star ratings for Robinhood from the Google Play Store. This is, of course, as many people are disgruntled with Robinhood for rigging the financial game. So now Google is accused of rigging people even exposing the fact that that happened by not even allowing people to write reviews about it and allegedly, according to The Verge, deleting them so the app still looks favorable to the person who doesn't know what's going on, keeping him out of the loop and away from, of course, the large amounts of public scrutiny by people who were losing their money, the common folk who were losing their money because of Robin Hood rigging the game against them in favor of the hedge funds. Also a friendly reminder, Google is the platform that also controls YouTube, which this video is on. Discord made also similar measures trying to squash this populist rebellion, along with, of course, Facebook that banned groups that were trading together on Robin Hood. Very interestingly, Facebook reversed their decision and actually allowed this group now to be still available on, on Facebook, but, but, but I think it's already abundantly clear here if you're actually playing the game like the hedge funds and if you're actually winning but if you're a peasant and you're poor big tech is always going to coalesce and protect the very powerful as they are right now and because of that we have to tell you that it's 
Essential to, of course, have your support as an independent media organization that is fully demonetized, kicked out of the partner program for doing simple news reporting and commentary about these very issues that people find very important. And if you find the information that I provided to you helpful, check us out on wearechange.org forward slash donate. There's many ways you could support and contribute. We have our own little paywall, which you could join through a subscription. We accept cryptocurrencies. We're working with different companies that we personally like like we have a physical p.o box and there's even ways to support us without spending a single dime and you could do all of that by going to wearechange.org forward slash donate the link is in the description below click it right now now just two days ago when we had the GameStop stonks scandal i think this was the shot that was heard around the world that is waking people up to the reality of our manipulated financial markets. As this random Twitter user says, quote, I don't ever want to hear poor people need to learn financial literacy, learn how to save and invest again in my life. The past 48 hours have proven that's a lie. The market is fake and the game is rigged. And this Ashley Stevens is absolutely correct with her assessment poor people played the market just like the hedge funds managers did and the establishment coalesced against them to make sure that they couldn't actually get a profit the former sec chairman even came out to describe what was happening akin to the january 6th insurrection at of course the capitol which is absolutely delusional and tone deaf to the actual reality of the situation that unfolded. Essentially saying that poor people getting money from the stock market by playing by the same rules as everyone else is harm to the financial elites. Yes, she said it on CNBC that has been absolutely losing their minds at what has been happening here. Not to be outdone, the Biden administration, as loathsome as they are already, actually came out and when addressed with this entire scandal asking if something was going to be done even if there's going to be meetings regarding this the white house press secretary said sure it's a big story but quote our big story is getting the american people back to work of course not answering the question diverting it like she does all the time being dishonest disingenuous to the american people who are finding out more and more just how absolutely of a scam this entire system is. Now, if Robinhood wasn't restricting you from buying more stocks and investing in other companies, they also recently were preventing you from trading in crypto as Robinhood just restricted trading because of, quote, extraordinary market conditions. This, of course, is cryptocurrencies were going up in price. As Elon Musk tweeted, in retrospect, it was inevitable and then also made his bio description on Twitter, hashtag Bitcoin, which, of course, a message sent by one of the world's richest people is going to have a tremendous effect on the market. And with Robin Hood pissing them off even more, not allowing people to get some. Now, of course, we're hearing some talks and chatter about congressional hearings about this, the SEC scrutinizing Robin Hood and other financial institutions for literally robbing the American people unfairly at, at that. But, but again, don't expect anything to, to really happen here. Don't expect the government to step in and actually help you. Just like you heard from Biden's press secretary, this is not even on their list to even discuss. And what, what did you expect? Government officials get criticized for allegations of insider trading, just like, of course, we were hearing about exactly one year ago, where senators who got a briefing about the upcoming health issue sold millions of stocks before the crash, which was very lucrative for them. You know, just like Nancy Pelosi coincidentally bought $1 million of stock options in Tesla just a few days before Joe Biden announced government vehicles will be electric in the future or during the events of 2001 as Immortal Technique points out where there was major companies shorting stock on airlines right before the attacks that took place in New York City. All those allegations, all of that money made is just not even taken seriously at all not investigated not looked into but some poor people band together in an honest transparent way on reddit and this is akin to a alleged insurrection are you kidding me this former sec chair should be absolutely ashamed of herself and her lack of decency and what do you expect from a government that shut down small businesses all last year 
while allowing their big billionaire box store buddies to be open, where of course the sickness going around last year somehow magically was unaffecting people. And then again, there's no logic here. There's just special interests and big money always getting their way, no matter what the consequences. And now to add to that absurdity, NBC News, which has essentially, along with the mainstream media, been the larger PR propaganda outlets for those special interests, for those billionaires, they're now running a story where they are recommending, I'm not joking you, four, yes, four masks on your face. This is NBC News who says, quote, in their article, quoting someone, if you put three or four masks on, it's going to filter better because it's more layers of cloth. Yes, that's that's the that's the information you're getting from NBC News, which is absolutely duplicitous. I'm sorry, the establishment, the mainstream media, the government never really gave a damn about our health. What makes you think that they care about us now? NBC, the same news organization that, by the way, is lecturing you about how many masks you should put on your face are also very cringily selling tequila. Yes, a substance that many people deal with that hurts them tremendously in their lives, that has horrible impacts on the family. That's something that NBC News shamefully even does special segments on, telling you how smooth and refreshing a bunch of booze is that you could drink your sorrows away because you're poor after you were beat over the head and robbed blind by the billionaire class. You know, just become a drunkard so you can't see how we're screwing you would be more of a fair statement to say about this tequila, especially the organization that is promoting it. More absurdity to even learn about is also the latest from U.S. intelligence officials that are warning that the Chinese government is collecting the DNA of Americans through, of course, the Conholio sickness testing. Now, according to CBS News, the country's top counterintelligence officer, Bill Evian, is warning that, quote, foreign powers can collect, store, and exploit biometric information from Conholio sickness tests. Now, of course, this was just conspiracy theories that we heard about weeks ago, but now it's officially being reported by CBS News that there is DNA samples that could be exploited in the future if you get a Conholio sickness test. And according to this counterintelligence officer, he believes that the Chinese are trying to collect as much DNA from Americans to win the race to control, quote, the world's biotech, which, of course, poses a huge threat to national security and the economy, but more importantly, your your privacy, your, your security. Since someone knows your DNA, they could essentially create DNA-specific weapons just against you to target you and do all horrible types of stuff. Now, China also understands that big data is going to be more valuable than, of course, big oil. It already is in many instances, and they are trying to data harvest and data collect as much as they can for their future endeavors and ambitions. Now, of course, this counterintelligence officer is warning about China gaming the market by knowing which future medical conditions people will have because of their DNA and then manipulating the pharma markets to profit off of those DNA analysis. But this goes far beyond than just market manipulation, especially when you have the integral details of how a human being is made and how you could also destroy them. This is not just about another nation quote, systematically eliminating our healthcare services. This is a country that conducts organ harvesting of dissenters, has concentration camps for Uyghur Muslims, and a social credit score that wants to, of course, tightly control what people can and cannot say or even think about. And if they get the information of your DNA, of course, they will abuse that just like any government will, including the American government, which we should be very skeptical of as well especially when it comes to these tests and the DNA that is within them that potentially could be used against us in the future. And if you think otherwise, you're not thinking. Look at the financial markets. Look at the big tech. Look at the mainstream media. Look at all the ways the government has been colluding with special interests, making sure that the very powerful always get their way and always get more from you, leaving you with absolutely nothing. And even when you have a small opportunity to even make a buck or two, they stop you dead in your tracks. We're living in an upside down world that is not in your benefit. This is why we've been seeing larger divide and conquer agendas and movements promoted by the very establishment that, of course, is screwing you over because, you know, nothing says Black Lives Matter like Goldman Sachs endorsing it. And now, on top of all of that utter insane nonsense, Black 
Black Lives Matter that is responsible for dozens of people's deaths, rioting and looting that this country has rarely ever seen, that has utterly destroyed countless numbers of businesses, is being nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. And if you need to see how absurd this world is, this is the perfect visualization of it right here right in your face remember folks two plus two equals five and if it's not good for the elite it's not good for you <laughs> that's my personal take on it of course i'm being facetious if you liked the video it is imperative that you take your mouse double click the link share it with some random person flip through your messages or your dms anywhere and just send it out randomly whatever someone texts you back in response to this Put it down in the description below. I'm looking forward to your feedback, your comments. You liking and sharing this video is absolutely why I am here against all the incredible odds, especially with, of course, YouTube not being very happy with me with expressing some of these opinions. But I'm still here because of you, and this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.